This is the new Family Reunion Celebration LEGO set. It's a wonderful creation full of fun details. But we want a version to go in our modular city, so we're giving ourselves 12 hours to customize this into a sweet modular building. Demolition Derby! As I'm sure a great philosopher probably once said, to customize is to destroy. Now that the fun part is over, it's time to do something we should have done earlier. Think about what it is we're doing. Based on our encyclopedic knowledge of the set from building it and playing with it for a few hours, we quickly figured out our plan. First, this will be a corner modular, like one of these. Second, to do that, we're going to put it on a 32 by 32 base plate. Third, since corner modulars need sidewalk space, we're going to have to change the dimensions of the family reunion celebration by lopping off this left side and adding a few studs to the edges for the sidewalk on what we'll call the fish tank side. Assessment time. No, it's not a test, but it is time to determine if one copy of this set will be enough. This set has over 1,800 pieces, and Lyco modular buildings typically contain about 2,800 to 3,000 pieces. But we're going bold with our challenge. Stay on budget and use just one copy of the set, filling in the rest of the pieces from our collection. We started by determining where the main entrance would be. This was a critical decision because the rest of the build was affected by it. The spacing of the windows, width of the sidewalks, efficient use of pieces, art stands, vegetable stands, and more were all at stake. Once we made that decision though, we started lining the edge of the sidewalk, modular style, meaning that you have a light blay curb and generally a dark blay sidewalk. But don't forget about those sewer grates and the lamp post. Then we outlined the edge of the building so that we knew where the window section would go. Along the far side was the toughest because we were adding length to that fish tank wall. Also, this set comes with a lot of sidewalk action, an artist, a flower stand, and a street vendor. So we wanted to spread those out a bit. We placed the vendor on the side of the main entrance and the artist, flowers, and lamppost on the fish tank side. I gotta say, I love tiling modular sidewalks, so placing all of those 2x2 two two tiles and the 2x2 two two jumper plates was a lot of fun. Despite it being early in the build, it really felt like it was all coming together. With the sidewalk done, we next moved to installing the window elements. On the entrance side, these were the same as the regular set, which made it pretty easy. But the challenge came on the fish tank side because we were expanding it, extending it additional studs. Putting in the tank itself was easy, but after that came some improvisation. We placed six wide and four wide window sections, leaving two studs on the edge for the wall, just like we did on the entrance side. But because this was new, we had to think hard about how to integrate the interior. For the sake of simplicity, we kept the breakdown wall in the entryway and started prepping for the kitchen build as we added two window sections. Like on the entrance side, we needed to make the wall two studs thick. Now it's time to nerd out. To modularize a building, you need to be able to connect it to other modulars. This requires placing two Technic bricks in the right spot, so we counted those out and placed them deciding to go with a black layer of bricks because well, we have a lot of those. As we built the fish tank sidewall, we decided to place the panel piece with the artwork there instead of a window because it would conserve those cool gold fence pieces for the second level and, well, that's where the artist is going to be. The four wide window section gets these two by two windows and an AC unit because that's where the kitchen is and kitchens are hot. They need AC. Add the exterior front walls, to the completion list. Fun factoid, not every LEGO modular has a bathroom, but this one does, and not just because the original set came with one, but because it's the right thing to do. We're placing our bathroom though under the stairs, Harry Potter style, and making sure it has a solid door. We placed the pre-built stairs and started building the walls facing the other modulars, making sure we included some artwork to vary up the interior decor. We chose tan because, well, it works well with sand green, and we have a lot of tan bricks. With those walls done, we started tiling the floor, choosing a medium nougat and red pattern to match the highlight colors of the original set. I didn't think we'd have enough tiles, but we had just enough. Told you! 
At this point, we were a bit scared to design a kitchen, so we added the final layers of plates and tiles to the first level, added those sweet dark green awnings, and went outside to shovel the driveway. Thanks, Cleveland. Oh, and the first level, minus the kitchen, is done. Spoiler alert! This model only is going to be two levels due to our decision to buy just one copy. But hey, if you want to see us add a third level, make sure you like this video, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Building the second level was a lot of fun, but a bit tricky. The easy part was adding the tan panels sandwiched between the dark tan and dark red door rail plates, as well as the nougaty tiles. Then we added the snot gold fence windows, and things were looking great. But then I had to figure out how to work the edges of the building and that corner. Plus, that last four wide window on the fish tank side was a bit tricky. Ah, the pressure of having to make decisions. Getting everything just right was challenging, but we made it. We added more tan walls, being sure to add a side window for natural lighting, then added the final layer of plates, tiles, and got ready for those sweet dark green awnings. Hey Dad, she left out the stair. What's that? I forgot stairs to my rooftop party center? <sighs> okay, fixed it. Now we can add those plates, tiles, and finally get around to adding those sweet dark green awnings. And with that, we have the second level done. Now it's onto the roof, where my lack of pieces became apparent very quickly. I ran out of these one by 2 cutout slopes, so I had to improvise a bit. Then I found a way to really complicate putting in the doorway to the roof, but eventually was able to problem solve that, I think in a reasonable way. Then we added some flowers, a nice table and chairs, some fireworks, a light, and a standing table, and we were ready to beautify the sidewalk. So let's check the rooftop off of our list. We added the fruit vegetable stand and the crates of the fruit to the entrance side. Then installed the table of flowers, paint brushes, and the seat to the fish tank side. We clipped in the corner sign and placed the lamp post and... Dad, don't forget the interior. Okay, we'll add in some of those kitchen details with all the equipment, the stovetop, a sink, an oven, and lots of cupboard space. And with that, we now have the kitchen marked off of our list. Hey, where are the mini figs? That's better. Now we can check adding mini figs off of our list. Let's check out the entire build now. Looking first at the entrance and the main sidewalk, and a peek inside the front door where you can see that back painting, which looks fantastic. Here's the kitchen floor once you walk in and the stairway up to the second level with some of the artwork and flowers. Moving to the fish tank side, there's lots of stuff going on on the sidewalk with the artist, the flowers, and more. On the second level, you see that window that I struggled with as well as some of the exterior details that I think turned out really nicely. On the inside of the second level though, there's the big table, a little standing table where waiters can put beverages and dishes, and there's a karaoke machine, which I think looks great, especially with some artwork on the wall. Finally, with the rooftop, you've got lots of action going on with different displays, tables, and areas for people to stand and look out over the modular city. So as a whole, I think this looks fantastic, and I'm curious to see your thoughts as well. We now present to you our custom modular. That's right. The only thing left to do is add it to our modular city, New Chagrin. But that is going to come in another video. So make sure you like this video and subscribe. And always remember to keep, keep building, building together. together.